what's up YouTube you're very bright today um, if you come here uh, you're probably either using the GoPro every now and then or an electric skateboarder uh, or you are just checking it because it's my video and you know me so thank you for coming uh, if you like the video just tell me and like anything you know how YouTube goes so let's get on to it because I like to kill two birds with one stone I'm gonna talk to you about two different things here uh, mainly the reason I'm making this video is because I just got the new R2 remote from Evolve for my electric skateboard and I want to compare the batteries with the R1 because some people have had trouble with their R2 it's not holding the charge after a while so that's not gonna be the case with me I guess because my R2 is brand new but we'll see <coughs> and because on the same topic of battery and because I'll be using the GoPro to do that video I'm gonna have to plug it in and provide it power while it's recording in order to be able to film all that uh, so it's just at the same time I'm giving you a trick that I use which is I have that power bank I have that little USB normal USB to USB type C cable and I just plug my GoPro onto the power bank so that it just keeps having power while I'm recording and that's how I'm able to do like very long time lapses or just videos like this to show the battery of a device and compare or anything that needs the GoPro to be recording at the same place without moving preferably uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed those two things and let's start with the little setup I have here so I'm just a very do DIY just a little lamp I put some lamps on the GoPro as you might notice with my face I'm just both are charged so here it's red but it was not red like it's it's charged so this one is blue and I'm just gonna wait until this one gets blue too and we're gonna start the test it was green when I like five minutes ago and the power bank turned off and now it's not green all right so it didn't take too long but long enough since it had been green like five minutes ago and then yeah I just I had to wait like a couple minutes to get it back to green which is not normal so there's probably some kind of like yeah battery leak problem anyway now let's go with the test different SD cards on it. I'm gonna have to yeah, just do time lapses with that. 
footage but yeah about three hours the thing is that they're not connected to the board so I'm guessing they're using less battery so that's probably the reason why it took three hours but I would say I'll have to test it one day but I've done like one hour ride and more without any trouble for batteries in the remote so I would say you should be able to get at least one hour and a half maybe it's two hours of ride without trouble you know R2 seem to have more battery the vibrations are probably gonna kill it if you ride in like because with, with the uh, sag on my board for example if I start accelerating for a while it's gonna go like oh no more battery and it just keep vibrating I know those vibrations take a big toll on the battery so that's definitely something to get to take into consideration other than that honestly uh, they seem to be both as good uh, remote in terms of battery so I would rate yeah. a par they're just in terms of battery same same I have to note that my R1 is much older than the R2 and it, it turned off before but I think, I don't think the R2 has a lot left well, that's about it for the review of those two remotes the, compari the comparison of those two remotes uh, I'll be doing a couple of videos where I'll be comparing the remotes not sure what next one will be uh, I'm thinking about doing uh, some laps to check uh, if the uh, settings the wheel settings that you put in uh, how much of a difference it has on on the distance that the remote calculates because I've done rides with people who had the R2 and had 107 wheels well, I had the R1 and 107 wheels and basically our distance were exactly the same so I'm guessing either the 10 millimeter difference doesn't make a big difference or the remote is just not calculating not caring about those details and then not really being accurate so the plan of one of my comparison would be to go on a track or find a long enough road that I, I'll just do the same thing on both but I, it has to be long enough to see the difference or not anyways I hope you like this uh, little comparison Thanks for watching, remember that if it's easy, it's not funny, and see you in the next one.